Oh, shit. Can't. Broke the drum yet? Yeah. It'll be all right. I put the oil on it as well. Yeah. All right, everybody. So we have got this all lined up. Put a clamp on it just to keep it into place. As you can see, all of our holes line up, which I guess is the main important part. This is the other side. It's moving along well. And now we're going to put all the bolts that came in the kit. They're all 716 bolts, but we've got to just... Um, Chisel out those holes, get everything nice and ready. That's it. That's what we're doing. So, Okay, everyone. So here is where I'm up to with my Chevy C10 build. Now, of course, this is a long bed and I'm using the Bolt-On Quadralink Rear Suspension Kit from Detroit Speed. Of course, as most of you know, I have no mechanical or automotive background, which is why I chose to go with the Bolt-On Kit. This has everything I would need, including the frame notch, which is what's happening in this video. The kit comes with the chassis brackets, the adjustable swivel links system that's unique to Detroit Speed, the coilover shocks and springs to give me the lowered ride height that I want without bagging this, as well as all installation hardware. So far, I'm quite proud of myself and this has largely been due to the fact that I am using a complete bolt-on system which has been an awesome learning experience to be honest. It's exposed me to all the different parts of the undercarriage and how it all comes together. So in this video, I drill and cut metal for the first time, which was an awesome feeling. And of course, as you saw initially, I did break the drill bit, but I was able to see notch both sides of the frame myself. So I hope you like it. There's not too much chit chat in this video as me and Kent were working because I was really trying to focus and find out how everything goes and making sure that everything fits and that all the holes and rivets were lining up. So yeah, it's, it's going really well and um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. The next video would be about the rear end, but for now, this is the C notching or C notching the frame, however you say it. In order to get to that point right there, you would have a cut mark here and there. By drilling it, it actually already gives us that groove. Uh, it gives you that, that radius already so that makes sense you may want to give this a go and you may not but see a little hole i put right there yep just put that in the center of it yeah you gotta feel it and it gets it falls into that hole and once it's in there then you just start to slow and just go. okay give it a go? i do want to give it a go Come and check out my work, Kent. Come over here. Yeah, here. You can see it from here? It's pretty straight. Mm -hmm. That's pretty straight, isn't it? And it's right in the drill bits. It's right in the I'm getting the hang of this, so. everybody so we have got this all lined up put a clamp on it just to keep it into place as you can see all of our holes line up which I guess is the main important part this is the other side it's moving along well and now we're going to put all the bolts that came in the kit they're all 716 bolts but we've got to just um, chisel out those holes get everything nice and ready okay. Now, the only thing is, there was a plate here. Yeah, we're going to stick it back in there. We're going to stick it back in? Uh, yeah. Uh-oh. Now you've got to pull it out. All right, 
15, 30 second drill hot places. We're going to get them all ready to bolt it on. Old school frames, pretty tough, but cutting oil is what Kent just used. Oh shit, Kent. Broke the drill bit? Yeah. It'll be alright. I put the oil on it as well. Yeah. It's a lot better, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to do the three on this side? You've started already. Mm -hmm. Did you want me to do the three on this side? Yeah, you're gonna break it. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta not let it kick to the side on you. Not that it's real hard to do. You just gotta be aware of it. We ain't got the two. You can hear it once. You'll hear the change in the sound when it's about to go through. Here. Did you hear how it I did, I did, right yeah. It started shrilling right at the end. That's when you want to ease up just a little bit and, and squeeze it tight so you got full control of it. Because once it goes through, that's when it'll snap the bit. No, I'm going to let you do Listen it. Listen to it again, you'll hear it. Okay. It's a different sound. Oh yeah, things are a tad tricky now that we've got um oh we've got the things on. Oh yes, so I'll have to use the impact on the other side and slide the wrench on this side. All right, so where we are up to with the rear suspension, haven't exactly started because we had to prepare the frame. Here is the C-notch bolt-on that we got from Detroit Spay. Super easy, using that paper, we just put it on, traced it. There was a lot of rivets to um, drill, as you can see. And now we're up to doing the chassis brackets. So again, this is our piece and this is for the left side I'm guessing and the front bed rails that's the these things here we've got to remove these and then that basically goes on top of um, in this position right here so that's what we're up to and then once that's finished we can continue on installing the quadrilink but it's looking good once we took off the bed brackets, I used a template from the kit to locate the new drill holes for the chassis brackets. And once they were in position, we used clamps to hold it to the frame while we drilled the four holes on the outside of the frame rail and six underneath the rail to bolt the brackets to the frame. Of course, next we tightened all our hardware, which is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Now here is me installing the upper shock mount brackets on the right hand side of the frame rail because the track bar chassis bracket that goes on the driver's side came attached to the other shock mount bracket so all we needed to do was bolt it onto the driver's side. 
which made things super easy. Here's where we have a little bit of fun. Now since my mate Kent here is not big on wearing protective gear, I found a way to blow the hot metal shavings away from him. It does help and of course it made me feel useful when Kent was doing the hard work. So maybe that's something you guys want to do. Obviously you might have something better than this, but for me this worked and um, we had a good laugh about it. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Can't wait to show you the next progress when we start on the rear end assembly.